Hey, welcome to another installment of Fix It Friday. This week we're going to take on something a little new. Um, Brian from Delos kind of put the fire under me. I had thought about doing this uh, over a year ago before we even got the boat. It was something that I thought I'd want to do. But now that we've got the inverter system up and running, really happy with the lithium ion batteries. Um, and everything's running smoothly. We've got the new 50 amp short cord out instead of running 230s, which that's uh, a whole nother mess we'll have to get into. So what we want to do now is we're basically got the same idea as Brian. I want to get rid of this guy. Now there's a couple reasons for that. One is it is just absolutely amazing how much this thing heats up the cabin. Uh, just when Holly's boiling her water in the morning for her coffee, it probably raises the temperature at least two degrees, especially right behind me at my nav station here. But um, it's just, it puts off an amazing amount of, um, I don't know, what would you call it, overheating? Um, propane. It's cheap, you know, works well. Uh, the problem with it is it's not readily available down in the Southern Caribbean, the Bahamas. Um, what happens is, is, you know, islands can run out and they'll tell you, oh, well, the propane boat will be here in a week and then you come back in a week and they said, oh, well, they gave all the propane to the restaurants and the locals first. Fair enough, I get that. But they didn't leave anything for us, so now you've been stuck there for over two weeks. There's several YouTube channels that we've seen this propane issue with. That's not the main reason we're changing it out. Um, it's just one of several reasons such as getting propane out of the cabin. Um, it just, I don't know, it's just been one of my pet peeves. And the other reason is, I want to try to free up some counter space. So what we've got, we've got a microwave up here, a toaster here, an oven down here, and a three burner stove here. So what we want to do is replace, take the Force 10 out totally, remove the microwave, put a micro convection down below, put a glass induction cooktop on top. Now the good thing about the glass induction is that it doesn't heat up. It only heats up the item that it's cooking, such as the tea kettle or the pot. So there's not a lot of overage heat coming off around the pot. There is still going to be some heat coming off from whatever it is you're cooking, obviously, but I don't think it's going to be any near, anywhere near what it is with the propane that just flows around the edges and is like a sauna when it comes on. So the first thing is we got to pull this guy out and that's probably not going to be easy considering uh, it's been in there since the boat was built and I'm afraid to see what's behind it and I'm pretty sure it has to come up to come out and that sucker ain't light. Well there's no sense in procrastinating any further so let's get started. not a convection oven. Um, it fits nicely and it's a good proof of concept I guess but it's got to go because that's not a micro convection oven. And I am not very happy about it. Thanks Amazon. We'll go at this again. In two more days. All right. Oh, so, 
while we're waiting on the new convection oven to get here, we're going to go ahead and do the wiring. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to tap uh, two 20 amp lines, one from this circuit and one from that circuit, split them by cutting the center out here, which will give us two 20s here, and then that way we're carrying enough power on two circuits instead of trying to put it all on one because um, the cooktop burns 1800 watts and the microwave can pull up to a thousand watts and the convection oven can also pull 1600 watts so between the two if we do a little power management you can't run them all three at, well you could run them all three at the same time but I wouldn't suggest it but um, we'll be able to run at least two items at once so what I'm doing here is I'm drilling two inch and a quarter holes and then I'll just join them together we'll drop the socket in here run one wire up to here one wire over to here and basically we'd be done with the wiring the final connections. All right, so we're gonna try this again. I really like this one a lot better than the other microwave, um, just due to the fact that A, it has French doors on it. There was kind of a, an issue of clearance over here and um, seems to have a lot more cubic uh, feet on the inside. So, and it says it'll cook 12 or two 12 inch pizzas at once. And that's a lot. I mean, we don't just eat pizza, but you know what I mean. is what we like. I like it. I like it a lot. And then there'll be plenty of room down here. Pots and pan storage, like we said earlier. Let's see how the cooktop fits. Gotta get them out of this room. That's kind of neat. I got a little gap here, but I think that's gonna work. What we'll do is back here I'll put a uh, plexiglass black hatch that with a finger hole that'll open up. And like I said, we'll drop the microwave down um, to about here and reset that down into there. And that'll be the end of that. So, oh, we're all done with the cooktop. We um, had a plexiglass piece made here so that she can have more storage down in here. Um, all in all, I think it came out pretty well. Um, the cooktop cooks really well it doesn't cook as fast as the propane obviously but it is I mean fairly comparable especially for the amount of power we use and there's no propane in the cabin any longer the only propane left is outside on the grill I decided to go with a convection instead of the convection microwave and I really like that the only thing we're going to do now is the microwave is going to go down about four inches um, other than that, everything's pretty much done. We're going to put a little trim plate right here. He's going to build me something so my pots and pans don't slide underway too. Yeah, and we're going to build uh, some rails on the sides just so the pots and pans don't slide because 
on a glass top they seem to slide. Well on a beautiful day like today, I guess it's time for some indoor projects. I couldn't finish up the outside projects that I had going on so I figured I'd tackle this and put the cap on the kitchen. Which basically <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is we're going to recess the microwave down into here. Voila! We have a hole. We have, we have a cavity up here. And so what we're going to attempt is what we call in the industry is a trick shot. We're going to drill down here and in here so that the cord for the microwave will go down and come out here and that will be below the deck level. And then we'll secure the cord with a to go plug in down there at the plug that we made earlier and here because we've already mounted the is with our 90 degree drill batteries help hey man somebody stole your battery Walk downstairs and make sure I didn't come out below or something. <laughs> Not that that's ever happened before, but. Um. Oh, it had stepped up. I see no holes. What? He sticks out more than that, please. That's what I'm And that, that's a wrap on the induction cooktop uh, with the convection oven. Um. All in all, it looks like we should get somewhere between $650 and $700 for the Force 10 stove, which is great. Um, that's what they're estimating at Sailor Man it'll, it'll go for. Uh, this, uh, the cooktop, cost me $249, and the oyster uh, convection oven cost. 299 so we'll say 300 there so there's five it cost us 41 dollars for the plexiglass and the wiring i already had but i'd have to say it was probably another 15 bucks so all in all we're we're kind of making money on the deal but so are you happy with it i am i think it turned out beautiful i just like i said need to make sure it goes uh haven't te we, we did test a little bit underway, but as, as long as I can still cook underway, I'm happy. But it cooks well and uh, it looks beautiful. So our next do it yourself or our next Friday. Fix it Friday. Fix it Friday. We're not really fixing. We are going to jerk out the Raymarine C90 and replace it with this guy. So don't forget to stay tuned and the way you do that is by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you want to see next. Um, I know everybody wants to see solar. That's what I keep hearing about and it's coming. I promise it's just so dang hot here in Florida right now.